Welcome everyone out there on live streaming. We are uh, cooking and having dinner with Daniela Momenti, who is our chef. I am host Kelly Vanderbeek, and so, what are you cooking for us tonight? Well, hello everyone. I will start with uh, some garlic bread, with some tomatoes and other stuff, like a kind of bruschetta, Italian bruschetta. I couldn't find the right bread, so... I hope it will be good, good enough. We're, we're not going to say that he cheated, but two minutes ago he opened the package. <laughs> <laughs> like which, trend. which? No, I don't see any. We've gotten rid of the evidence. Yeah, cut. <laughs> well, <laughs> then at first would be carbonara pasta. Mm, my favorite. Yeah. Um, to be honest, because I'm Italian, I have to call it, it will be an international carbonara pasta. The real carbonara needs pecorino cheese mm -hmm. from the sheep, you, you know, I, I couldn't find it here. Then you need the guanciale, that is a part of pig that, I don't know which one, but it's not bacon. But a really good carbonara came from bacon, from, well, eggs of course, some uh, uh, cream, and um, pasta. Okay. Pasta? Yeah. We'll try and stay focused. The smells in here are fantastic already. So we'll yeah, try and, we'll try the and stay focused. Yeah. yeah, the second will be uh, some roast beef with roasted potatoes. It's in the oven. I prepare it like with the uh, bread. He helped me a lot tonight. Uh, an hour ago and we'll be done, I think, in 20, 25 minutes we'll be ready. So this is a true Italian meal. We'll start with the pasta and then we'll go on to the meat and then we'll go on to dessert. Yeah. I did the tiramisu, just for you. Perfect. I'm a downhiller, so I'm allowed to put on a little extra padding, but you good. guys have to stay nice and lean, but uh, tiramisu is okay. Yeah, it's good. It's healthy, you know? It's That's just eggs, some biscuits, some coffee to shoot up, and cheese, cream. Yeah, yeah. Who taught you how to cook? Was it your mom? Was it uh, the Italian genes? Just you were born with this, uh, uh, this ability? No, well, well, yeah, all, all Italian can do pasta, of course, yeah. but I don't remember when I start to cook, but I remember with my grandfather, I was doing everyday pasta after school, so I started mm -hmm. to do with him, you know, with the first sauce, and I have to walk a bit. But, yeah, you, yeah, you have a mic on you, so you're okay, you can talk wherever oh, you yeah. are, he's set up already, so we can... He can work away while uh, I just get to sit and be lazy. Yeah. So your grandfather, interesting. So was it the women who sort of manned the, the kitchen or was it the, the men in the house? How did it work in your family? I've, I've been around Italian. Yeah, well, uh, after school, uh, the medium school when we were 12, 16, I was going to my grandfather. He was living alone. And me, my brother, and him was cooking pasta together. Okay. And it was, was pretty funny because it was just, you know, three men and sit there, make the pasta together, it was pretty good. Yeah. And from there I start also, sometimes I had to cook alone, you know, because my mother finished work like at two, but at two I was training, you know, so I had to learn, yeah. I had to. Uh, I was starving after school, so if I want to eat something, I had to, to learn it. And yeah, and I did it. Then I, I look, you know, I look a lot, my grandmother, uh, my aunt, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I just start to learn because I'm hungry all the time. Well, and that <laughs> comes into you being an athlete. Um, you are certainly somebody who uh, who's pretty good at their sport. Won the uh, world champion from uh, in Totten, 2010. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Do you remember what you ate the night before you won the world championships? Uh, carbonara. No. I'm <laughs> 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 no. To be honest, I don't remember what I had. The night before, a steak for sure. A big steak. And uh, salad, but the day of the race, uh, I don't usually eat a lot the day of the race. I just eat some sandwich, some bars, or you know, to be Small like meals more regularly yeah, on race yeah, yeah. day, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Then, because you know, maybe they change 30 minutes, an hour, you never know when exactly you need the mm -hmm. peak of sugar, you know, for the race, so it's better to eat smaller but more regularly. What do you have within the last hour before you race? The last hour, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, about 90 minutes before, I had usually a small sandwich with some beef, some cheese, you know, but really small, you know. No pocket coffee right before you go? It's an Italian uh, chocolate-covered espresso shot. When they sponsor me, I will say that. No. <laughs> okay, all right. So pocket coffee, that's just a little note on the side there. Well, we, do, sponsor. we do, Italian team have all the time uh, mocha like this one at the race. This yes. is the best way to have the coffee. 
Perhaps you should explain it. Some people might not know what this is. Oh, yeah. It's... See, all these muscles should be for something. I'm not sure. Uh... So I have the butter in... Well, you put the water in here, inside in here. Then you have this kind of filter, and you put the coffee in here. Fuck. Then you put the first, the top part on top, and the water boiling will make a vapor that will go through the filter, take the whole aroma and test and everything from the coffee, and go in the first part, liquid. And then you have the best coffee ever. Well, we have this every time before the race, and it works. Caffeine works, they say it's an ah, excellent yeah. Uh, yeah. performance enhancer. So, uh, how about La Serre d'Urgel in Spain? What's your uh, favorite restaurant there? Well, in La Serre d'Urgel, I make, I don't go in an Italian restaurant because they really cook very well the meat. So, I go to La, La, oh, I don't remember. It's, I know, you know, I can explain Where? right, left, right, left, and there's more, I don't remember the name. Is it, it's and, not Italian though? No, no, no. no it's a uh, Spanish, and but they, they do a really good uh, fillet, mm -hmm. you know, beef, and it's really good. And I always go there, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Also because I didn't find any good Italian restaurant in Spain. Okay, interesting. And have yeah. you been to London yet? That's the big question. London 2012 or the next Olympics. What are you going to eat before your Olympic performance? My Likely. cruising, my cruising leaving London. Mm -hmm. And he have a flat, so with the kitchen. So, you know. And he spent 20 years of his life near Naples, in the south of Italy, so he know how to cook. Mm -hmm. So I think I will go there every day. So no restaurant for you, it'll be your cousin's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when there's some Italian cooking, I yeah. always go to him. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. if he's not inviting me. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> so this is sending out a, he's inviting himself, essentially, is what Momenti's doing here. <laughs> so... When you're cooking for an important person, obviously we're all very important, so you're, uh, you're cooking carbonara for us here and meat, but uh, let's say you were cooking for your Prime Minister Berlusconi. Well, you know what? I think if I had to go out for a dinner with him, I will cook the pizza. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it's not a poor food, but it's what that makes uh, everyone know Italy, you know? Yeah. Italy is famous for lots of things, and pizza is one of the, the, the best, you know, so... Wood fire pizza, I'm assuming? Of course. Oh. Wood fire and made, and margarita, yeah. you know, the, where is uh, mozzarella, the white, the green is the um, basilico, mm -hmm. and the tomato. You know, the, you know margarita pizza, how margarita born, pizza you know, from yeah. Naples? Uh, the Queen Margarita had to go to Naples to visit the city and they made a typical food from Naples and they did this pasta bread, you know, okay. round like this and they didn't know what to put inside so they just said, well, it, we do something with Italian so they put the green, the salvia for the green, the first uh, color of the flag, the white was the, to the mozzarella and then the tomato was the red. That's why Pizza Margherita is, you know, a brand of Italy, you know? So uh, why don't you talk a little bit about your uh, roommates here that are going to be joining us uh, for dinner? Yeah, sure. You can introduce, uh, introduce the group around or...? Well, uh, uh, I will be busy for two minutes, so if the guys come here... Guys, come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Brett, come on. So while he's We're cooking, uh, Danielle can introduce uh, the group of athletes here that are staying all together, rooming together, getting ready and training here in Penrith. Again, this is uh, off-season training, so everybody's it's a very international group. Yeah, well, it's an unusual group because we never been, you know, so friends, like going out together and stuff. But email, Facebook, uh, we all need the house, and we were here for the same period almost. And thank you, Brett. Brett is really good chef, he's helping me a lot, um, he will check if the beef will be done. Of course, because he's American, I will let him do this. He can only handle the meat, the American, is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, but him especially is good to cook that, and uh, it's pretty hot here. It's warm, it's quite warm. Yeah, um, Hastings is also from America, and yeah, have a... Speech? No, just uh, happy to live with uh, Danny, of course. 
He's much bigger than I am, of course, in this... Uh... No, no, it's not the mic. Oh, oh, oh not, the mic. I'm not showing it. No, um... Um, yeah, we all kind of connected through email and um, trying to find a house. Robert, who's not here right now, was the orchestrator, but it's it's been a lot of fun living with Danny and everyone, and uh, it's a great house, great dynamic, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Yeah, awesome. I'm also a great hairstylist, so if anybody needs a haircut, oh, he you. did mine yesterday. Really? Yeah, thank you. got to show off your haircut. I'm not oh, sure yeah, if we can we zoom in Ooh. here, but... Uh... He, he's, he's a bit of a sculptor as well. He got the... The A town for Atlanta. So that's where uh, I'm living most of the time. And some tracks in the back. But Saw Momenti was doing something with the tomato over the garlic bread that looked very, very Italian of you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You, have you to can describe, describe what you were doing before we introduce. You can uh, help yourself. Just come here, take a tomato, take this garlic bread that I cut, prepared, put the garlic yeah, everything. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -um. If you're just you take joining tomato, us, yeah. you squish it a bit. And you just go around like this, you see? Like or, well, you can have it. Or you just cut some small pieces off. The knife you bought is awesome. Knives are important. <laughs> Sharper, the less likely you are to cut yourself. Oh, I am out. So while he's preparing, oh, this is a uh, bruschetta here. Yeah, kind of. International bruschetta. <laughs> Improvised. Jim, because you've been good not for frozen? 10... <laughs> and then you put in the freezer. <laughs> okay, what are you doing here? There's lots happening here with cooking. We only have seven minutes left, so we're going to try and wrap up the, the cooking side uh, of this. I'm taking the beef and I will maybe with the aluminum to keep it warmer. Yeah. It's, you know, it's ready almost so I will just rip it like this to keep it warmer forever and what about the potatoes? Potatoes look great. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I guess that means it tastes good. <laughs> We have uh, four more minutes, so we might not actually get to see the end of the meal, but why don't you talk about what the dessert, you've prepared a dessert for after this, and uh, what is that? We might as well show everybody what it looks like. This was done by uh, Momenti, prepared this before we were Yeah, we I did arrived. it yesterday. It's a uh, tiramisu. It's a um, classic Italian Classic dessert. Italian, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really good. I had a finger Lady test finger? Oh. before, and... <laughs> It's really good. I made it yesterday and for today it's awesome. It's really good. How long can you let prepare tiramisu and let it sit before you have to eat it? Uh, well, usually, have, well, you prepare the tiramisu and then you leave it in the fridge uh, to cool, I say, to make the cream, to settle. To to settle. settle. Yeah. yeah, a few hours is usually enough. Yeah. Uh, but I always, uh, my tiramisu is always much, much better the day after. So I prepared it yesterday to make the top just for you. Perfect. I'm excited. I'm actually getting really hungry. I'm losing my, my train of thoughts here because all I'm thinking about is food now. I think we're all, uh, we're all sitting around quite hungry, getting ready. What? Uh, How much time do we have? Because we only maybe have about people... three more minutes, I think, uh, and then we're going to be wrapping up our live stream, at least. We might have a few more shots that we'll add in later of us actually enjoying this fabulous meal that Daniela is preparing for us. What, uh, what are your plans from here? We're here in uh, Penrith, Australia. What are your plans for the next few weeks and then moving on uh, through the season? Uh, well, I'm here for the winter training, of course, because here it's hot, there's good power, good sparring here. And uh, fortunately this year I will not have the selection race for the World Championship and the World Cup, so I can just keep training hard till springtime and then we start the season, you know. Mm -hmm. That's and unusual, no selection race. It's because you're world champion, you were exempt from yeah, the selection race. Yeah, because I won the yeah. world champion, the World Cup last year. Uh, the coach just... They said, oh, you're pretty good. It's okay. <laughs> 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 but it's enough with your history. Well, for the people, so eight, we are ten people, so I put eight and one full eggs inside. Because maybe they are waiting and... Yeah, they're all wondering how, how to, to make the carbonara here. Then I will make this, you know, how you call this? You're beating it, whipping it. I'm beating them. Yeah, I like <laughs> beating. And then we put the cheese and the bacon, and the sauce for the pasta will be done. Then 
Italian spaghetti, of course. Padella, this is, yeah. uh, this you can find all over the world. They're very Italian. Yeah, well, it's the best. I think it's the best. So even in Italy, this is what you would buy? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Barilla, maybe it's another manager. Yeah, another, yeah, the they sponsor scene, so we need to get them in the kayak now, too. <laughs> Well, I guess we uh, we should probably wrap up here and say bye to everybody online. And uh, thank you for joining us for uh, dinner with Momenti and the whole house. We'll say bye. We're going to enjoy a wonderful meal. Thank you very much for watching us. And any question, you know the website. Ciao. Bye-bye. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was phenomenal. It yeah. was really good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. 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 And uh, a lot of stuff. And uh, it's good. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Very good. I, I taught him well. Yeah, that one's so hard. <laughs> very good. Very as expected. Oh, Kelly, what do you think? Delicious. It's awesome. Oh. <laughs> Bonissimo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really satisfied. It's a good, it's a good finish for this dinner. I really appreciate our guest, and uh, I'm glad that tiramisu was really good.